All right, this is the start of the 2020 AMC 12B with problem number one. It's ridiculously simple, not sure why I'm doing the video, but wanted to have as many problems on the video, I guess, as possible. So what is the value and simplest form of this expression? I guess one shortcut you could note is the sum of the first n odd integers is n squared. So since this is the sum of the first two, it's two squared. So I get one plus two after I square root plus three plus four to get 10. All right, continuing on with the 12B problem two, value of this expression is what they want. Um, you can just observe that this is A squared minus B squared, which factors into A plus B, A minus B as a difference of squares. And because of that, it's gonna factor into this and this factors into that. So everything cancels and you get A. On to the 2020 10B problem three, which was also the 12B problem three. The ratio of W to X is four to three. The ratio of Y to Z is three to two, and the ratio of Z to X is one to six. What is the ratio of W to Y? This is a tactic I picked up from volume one of AOPS. If you have access to it, it's pretty great. Okay, so uh, all we're gonna do is think about W to X. I want W to Y, which means I want W in the numerator. So let's put W here and X here in the denominator. Now, I want the X to go away, so let's put it in the numerator, and I've got another ratio here of X and Z. I can put Z here like this, because I know Z to X or X to Z is an option. Either one, I just reverse the direction. And then I can put um, Y to Z um, I can make it Z to Y. Now, if I cancel everything out, what's left is W to Y, which is exactly what we seek. So let's just fill these in with what they are. W to X is four over three times X over Z. Now, Z to X is one to six. We just reverse it and get six over one times uh, Z over Y. If Y to Z is three to two, then Z to Y is two to three. One of these threes cancels a six. Four times two is eight times two is 16 over three. That's answer choice E and we're on to the next one. Okay, and here we are at the 2020 10B problem four, also the 12B problem four. The acute angles of a right triangle are A degrees and B degrees. Pause right there. You should know that the acute angles of a right triangle add up to 90. Write that down and continue. A is greater than B. And both A and B are prime numbers. What is the least possible value of B? Because we want least possible value, we should probably use the solutions to help us out. We start with B could equal two. No, because then A would be even and not prime. Could B be three? No, then A would be 87. Always check for divisibility by three by adding the digits. You know this is divisible by three because eight plus seven, 15 is divisible by three. So it's not B. Try five, doesn't matter. A is gonna be a multiple of five, it'll be 85, doesn't work. Try seven, seven and 83. Good idea to know your, your prime's less than 100. 83 is prime, so seven is the answer. All right, and this is the 2020 12B problem number five. Teams A and B are playing in a basketball league where each game results in a win for one team and a loss for the other team, so no ties. Team A has won two-thirds of its games. You can stop there and think about what that means. Team A is going to win two games for every loss they have. This is a two-to-one ratio, but that's two-thirds of total games. So 2x to the total being 3x would be two-thirds. Uh, and Team B has won five-eighths of its games. Um, so B's win-loss is going to be 8Y or a 5Y to losses 3Y, right? 5 to 8 total is 5 to 3 wins to losses. Okay, um, then what does it say? Team B has won 7 more games than Team A, so 5Y minus 2X must equal 7 They've also lost seven more, so three y minus x also equals seven. Multiply this by negative two to get negative six y plus two x equals negative 14. Add straight down to get negative y equals negative seven. You now know y is equal to seven. 
You can plug it in to get 35, subtract 7 to get 28, move the 2x over, and you'll see that x equals 14. So now we can check 2x is 28, losses is 14. We're doing the check because you don't want to make silly mistakes, right? So 5y is going to be 35, and 3y is going to be 21. Now, what's 21 minus 14? It's 7. 35 minus 28 is 7. How many games has Team A played? 42 is the total. Answer is C.